Hi Virgo, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. Those of you that are new, thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate that. Um, if you're not subscribed, you know, definitely hit the red link. You'll love my, my readings. You'll love my weekly lives that I will be back for next week. I promise. <laughs> Virgo. So this is the Gilded Tarot Royale. Here's the box. Which is big. And Barbara Moore. She is um, the text the text by, you know, so she, she wrote, she wrote it, you know, but, um, same author, publisher as The Gilded, that's just The Gilded, here we go, my future, not my future, my family, um, Virgos, okay, Virgo, November 2021, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Virgo. Just flowing it very nicely. I like that. Make sure nothing fell. Okay. So having a hard time getting them up. Oh no. Okay. The moon. Cancer. Cancer. Well, Ace of Pentacles, your energy. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Uh, Queen of Cups. You, if you have water in your chart. Three of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all this clock's fault. <laughs> okay, two of swords. Ace of Pentacles, wow. Damn, the five of swords. Hmm. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. For real. Eight of Wands. 
Overall energy, Four of Swords. Yeah, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands. You know, it could, it could be a defensive energy. You could be defending yourself or protecting someone, you know, someone else. While the Ace of Cups is under there. Ace of Cups. Well, Judgment. Unbelievable. And then, wow. Virgo. And then you. Which is going to be you women. And I do see some of you going on a journey. Some of you, some of you definitely feel inspired. Letting go of the past. Forgiving someone. Some of you could be... Fighting your emotions, you know, definitely over over the next two weeks. I mean, I'm almost a week late. I apologize. It's just been, been a rough month. Um, but definitely. And it's almost like for some of you, you could be judging someone else. For some of you, you could be... Like blocking yourself, your emotions, or some of you are like trying to do that. You know, your overall energy, you know, for the month is the Four of Swords. And some of you are spending time alone. That's it. That's just, you're spending time alone. Thinking about things. I mean, I'm going to clarify definitely with the After Tarot because... I connect with it amazingly, and could it play out longer? Absolutely, yes. But it's a reading that does happen fast for people that have had readings from me. And, um, wow. Um, if you're a Virgo, if you're a Virgo and you've had a reading from me, I mean, definitely leave your comment below. I would love that. I would appreciate that so much. Um, I mean, some of you could definitely be spending some time alone thinking about things. For some of you, it could be healing your your relationship. It could be healing emotionally. Some of you could be healing emotionally. Some of you could have ended things with someone. And you could have felt judged by someone. But this is you separating yourself. Like, it's you just spending time alone. You know, and resting. <sighs> Definitely resting. recuperating, protecting yourself. I am getting that very strongly. Some of you are protecting your heart. Like, you might be dealing with a person where there is a history, like someone could have done something to you in the past. And I see some of you just blocking your feelings, protecting your heart. Some of you definitely you could be dealing with a cancer with the moon. Two of swords. Like, this is rejecting a cancer. Or vice versa. I mean, some of you I definitely feel... You know... 
I mean, some of you definitely feel rejected in some way. And if it's not love, I mean, it doesn't have to be. It could be a job. But the Five of Swords, you know, feeling defeated, like, like, you know, for some of you, like, this has happened in the past. You know, yeah, definitely, you know, for some of you, this has happened in the past. And, I mean, someone might really want forgiveness with a relationship. Someone could have been nasty and they hurt you, probably said some mean things. And now you're blocking them out, telling them no. So someone could have hurt you. Even a, it could even be a friendship, Virgo. You know, someone hurt you emotionally. I definitely feel someone hurt you in the past. You're separating yourself. Others of you are healing if someone hurt your feelings or lied to you. You know, you're definitely healing emotionally, letting go of the past. I mean, some of you definitely might might forgive this person. And, and it would be a process. Others of you, I see you going on a journey. I see you separating yourself. Like... See, I separating yourself from this moving on. And, and, and it's just... That some of you are still emotional. You could have actually gotten into an argument over money with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, there definitely could have been lies concerning money, lies, conflicts around money, a new beginning. If not money, this could be around a new home, a job. There's been some kind of deception and some kind of um, feeling rejected. Or you could be the one that is telling someone no. Like some of you are dealing with someone that is being shady. You know, underhandedness. Trying to hide something. You know, and it is toward their direct karma. You know, and it doesn't mean that it's it's your karma, Virgo. It means that if someone is being shady, lying to you, there is this this karmic energy here. And it's reap what you sow. So, if anyone is lying to you, not being fair, that is their karma. And how you react, Virgo, will be yours. But some of you are blocking this person out. Or blocking this situation out. I do see you moving forward. I mean, in a Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, Judgment, both healing energies can also speak about forgiveness. Six of Swords, I mean, you're in the process of, of literally moving forward. I think you, some of you have been working hard to do this. With the Eight of Pentacles, that is a Virgo card. 
and the Six of Pentacles under there, wow. Virgo, keep working, keep doing what you're doing, bring in the money. I think you already have it, or you will. Like, I do feel like something big's coming in for you. Like, you're, you are on a process of, of walking away from the, from the Five of Swords energy. The Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, a Pisces woman. Okay, so, all right, some of you females could have water in your chart, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or this is just your energy, more emotional energy, but I definitely see some of you healing, recuperating, Three of Pentacles, I mean, again, some of you are just going to throw yourself into your work. And we see that with the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, that's, it, it just goes on and on. I mean, some of you could be working with a Cancer. With the Three of Pentacles. For those of you that had hard times, probably with this water sign. Some of you, a Scorpio is important. You know, I mean, I mean, really, the Wheel of Fortune, for some of you guys, like, really, I feel like this is unfairness. The people that, you know, you work with, they probably just were not fair at all. They probably... But things are going to change. If this is what works, continue to keep doing your thing. Keep doing a good job. Again, if someone is being underhanded, shady, lying to you, you know that saying, what goes around comes around. I stay focused on your work. Avoid it. The Eight of Wands, this is exciting news, communication, but it's also a positive movement, a, a change that's very suddenly, like very suddenly, you know, you're going to see things happen, happen and change. For some of you, there could be news coming in for you that's very sudden. You can have heard something, stay focused on work. Some of you might have to work with the water sign. Maybe to just try to get along, to ignore things. <clears throat> Listen, Virgo. Things, things, things are going to change. And you're moving away from this crappy, shitty energy. Some of you are definitely manifesting... The Ace of Pentacles. I think you had to deal with shady, shady, disgusting shit around this. People not playing fair. Just continue to focus on your work. Continue to be honest Virgos that we are. Stay focused on your work because you are manifesting the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo. And it's in the process. But it is a process. It is a very interesting reading. It is. Okay. Um, Alright, what do I even want to clarify? All right, let's go with the moon. Okay, the after tarot, future predictions. So, you know, six months, a year, you know, depends. 
Alright, Virgo, the moon. There's just confusion, fear, anxiety. I'm not going to come from not knowing the truth about something. Virgo, the ace of swords. That is going to come out of the ace of... Whoa, whoa. Alright. Um, that flew right out. I don't even know if you guys saw it. Um, well. Okay, what is the Five of Swords going to bring for Virgo? Something from the past has like come back and they've and they're hanging around already. I mean I think that is going to be your change, Virgo. Is a relationship or a wedding proposal. I mean, that with the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, it's karma, destiny, things happening at the precise, some precise moment in time that, you meant, that they're meant to happen. And, I mean, eight days, eight weeks, eight months, tops. I mean, something is definitely coming in fast, quick, and the time is now. Definitely has something to do with someone from the past, Virgo. And this that's the sudden movement and change that is happening for some of you. Wow. Interesting reading, even with the clarifying cards. But a great reading for I mean if it resonates for you. I mean if I mean I was <laughs> if if you resonate with this I, I would suggest getting a private reading. I, seriously, I would. I just said that to Scorpio, too. And I never say that. When, when do you ever hear me say that? I'm sure you watch other people's signs. Oh, my gosh. Like, wow. But really, it's going to be amazing, Virgo. I feel it for you, too. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you back here soon. Bye.